Hello and welcome to Maths with Jacob. This lesson will focus on base 10 blocks. Base 10 blocks are an excellent example of concrete materials that can help students to understand the concepts of place value and trading. In this video we will use tens and ones in the form of base 10 materials to increase our understanding of these two concepts. Now note, sometimes these are known as MAB blocks. So these base 10 materials are sometimes called MAB blocks. So this little picture here represents a 1 or a single, and that one represents a 10, because there are 10 small ones. The following examples demonstrate how base 10 blocks can help students understand the concepts of place value and trading. The first example, 6 plus 8. Now 6, we have 6 ones, so here are the concrete materials, that represents 6. The 8, 8 single blocks. So the 6 plus 8 is represented by these concrete materials. Now the first object is, can we make a group of 10? Let's have a look. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yes, we can. So let's box these up so we keep a track of them. So there's our group of 10. And here they are here. That's exactly the same group. So there's one group of 10. What are we left with? Four ones or four singles. Now here's where the trading comes in. These 10 singles can be traded for a long. That is one group of 10. So these 10 singles are the same as one group of 10. And then you've got your four singles left. So there's your 10. And there's your four. So one group of 10, which is this one, that one there. And four ones, which are these ones, that gives you 14. So that is the meaning of 14. One group of 10 and four ones. Example 2, 8 plus 9. Let's see if we can make 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we box that up nicely. We take our time. So there's our group of 10, which is this one. We put them all together. What's left over? 4 plus 3, so we've got seven singles, seven ones, see? Now, these ten singles or ten ones, the trading comes in because we can give them away or trade them for one of these, which is one lot of ten. Here's our seven singles. One lot of ten and seven ones, that gives you 17. Example 3, 12 plus 14. We'll continue on trying to make a ten. One, two, three, four. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Let's put that in a square. There we go. Let's see if we can do another 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Let's be very careful and box this one without making a mistake. We're only boxing the ones that are marked. And there's another group of 10. So that's our first group of 10 here. Here's our next group of 10 there. What do we have left? 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. There are 6 left. 2 groups of 10 and 6 singles. 2 groups of 10 and 6 singles. That gives you 26. Following on from the previous two slides, we can understand even further how base 10 is so important in our number system. Let us see how this works without blocks. Now we're going to do exactly the same thing here, but we won't use blocks. We'll just use numbers. So we're working on 6 plus 7. Now remember we started off by making a 10. How do we make a 10? Well, there's your 6. Just add 4 to it. That helps you make your 10. Where did we get the 4 from? We got it from the 7. Okay, so we took that 4 away from the 7. That's how we got that 4 here to make 10. Okay, so that's that part there. 
6 plus 4 is 10, 7 take away 4 is 3, 10 plus 3 is 13. 1 lot of 10 and 3 ones. 9 plus 8, how do we make a 10? Well, you just add 9 plus 1. That gives us our 10. Where did we get that 1 from? We got it from this 8 here, so we have to take it away. That's where we got it from. So there we go. 9 plus 1 is 10. 8 take away 1 is 7. 10 plus 7 is 17. 1 lot of 10 and 7 ones. Example 3. 24 plus 3. Now how do we make some groups of 10? Well we've got 24 here so let's see if we can make two groups of 10 which gives us 20. Well how do we make two groups of 10? 24 take away 4. That's definitely 20 isn't it? So that's our first group. There it is there. See? That one there. Where did we get the 4 from? Well we took it away from the 24. It's not a matter of where did we get it from. We actually subtracted it from the 24 because we had too many. So how do we compensate for it? Well, it's easy. We just add it to the 3. Okay, you can't just take the 4 away and do nothing else. In order to keep this thing equal, sorry when I say this thing, this whole line equal, if we take 4 away from 24, you have to add 4 to the 3 to keep things balanced. That gives us 20, 3 plus 4 gives us 7, which is 27, 2 lots of 10, and 7 lots of 1. 39 plus 6, now how do we make some groups of 10? Well, 39 plus 1, that gives us 40. We certainly know, that's they're definitely groups of 10, aren't they? Now, so we added 1 here, so where did we get the 1 from? Well, we just took it away from the 6. There we go there. 39 plus 1 gives us 40. 6 minus 1 gives us 5. 40 plus 5 equals 45. So the whole object of this video is to help you further understand the concepts of trading and place value. And this is going to help us later on in our mathematics when we do more involved addition and subtraction.